Hey guys, welcome to uh, Metroflex OCR. I'm Eddie, owner of Metroflex Long Beach. I'm with one of my Metroflex OCR sponsored athletes, Adam Lemus. Today we're gonna go over the tire flip. The tire flip is a really, really um, popular movement in OCR training. Um, actually what makes it very difficult is the fact that it's a pull out of the hamstrings and running, if done correctly, should be a very hamstring dominant run, especially endurance running. Um, so subsequently, it's very difficult to get a tire up and generate power with a tired and fatigued muscle, especially towards the end of your race. So what we want to learn is the most efficient means of flipping this tire, which Adam's going to demonstrate for us. Weight. Everyone thinks that the weight is on the heels like a deadlift. In fact, it's actually on the balls of your feet because you are driving the tire up and forward as you would a uh, football hit. Adam. He came out out of his hamstrings, a lift out of the legs, okay? Go back down. Also, notice that his shoulder is pressed up against the tire. This is very, very important because if he were to, go ahead, lift it up. Lift it, lift up. it up with your shoulder and put it underneath your knee. If he were to pull that shoulder away from the tire, it would turn on his bicep. And this is a large object to put on such a small muscle. Right now, with the shoulder pressed against the tire, everything is engaged through his back, lats, and legs. Go ahead, use your hips to flip that tire. Notice that when he flipped the tire, he used a movement with his hips to generate power. This is also important. This is also what makes a tire a functional movement because there's hip extension involved. Adam, why don't you flip it back towards me? Again, watch what he does in its entirety. Adam, out of the balls of your feet, drive up, hips, knee under the tire, and drive. This is not one small, long, continuous effort. In fact, it's a series of fast actions that move the tire over. If you can't get the tire flipped in one giant effort, that's how you want to chip away at it. You want to pick it up first, scoop under the tire, get more weight underneath it, scoop under the tire, and use leverage to your advantage. Adam's a 135 pound athlete flipping a 550 pound tire, which is pretty impressive. The fact that he's able to do this after nine miles running is even more impressive. And it's through his efficient movement patterns that he's able to do it. So again, Adam, why don't you show them two sequential flips, one out and then one back. Do the hips, press, beautiful. And bring it back. Up. <laughs> Excellent. That pretty much sums it up. Make sure you practice the tire flips at different weights and scale your way up. Start low, 350 pounds, 450 pounds, and then work your way up to a heavy flip. As we train for an OCR, we tend to do heavier tire flips than we see actually in race day. This again, makes it a lot easier when we have to approach a tire with a lot of muscle fatigue. Again, work on a heavier means of training, make training harder than it is in game day, so that come race day, it's butter. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure to check out our ebook on how to train for an OCR event at MetroFlexLBC.com. Over and out.